This is unit number one, science and technology, page number nine. Let's differentiate science from technology. When scientists make new discoveries, people work to make use of these discoveries to develop useful things. For example, x-rays, which could pass through many materials, including muscles in the human body were discovered in 1895. It was realized that x-rays could be used to take photographs of the bones inside the human body. Soon, the x-ray machine was developed. While science deals with discovering new principles, technology deals with using these principles to make things that can to useful jobs. A scientific discovery has the potential of leading to the development of new technologies. People who develop new technologies are known as technologists. Let's read about amazing fact. Joseph Lister, this British surgeon discovered that infections during surgery were caused by germs. He made use of carbolic acid to kill germs. This had a dramatic effect and this, the number of deaths during surgery fell rapidly. Substances such as carbolic acid that kill or prevent the growth of germs are called antiseptics. So how science is beneficial for us? Some of the main areas in which science has been especially beneficial to us are science and our health. Scientists have studied our body and life processes very carefully and this field of study is called medical science. They have discovered causes and cures of diseases which were previously considered incurable, such as polio, tetanus, tuberculosis, malaria, etc. They have also invented machines such as CAT scanner, endoscope, etc. for the treatment and diagnosis of different diseases. Today we expect to live a healthier and longer life because of these inventions. You can see the pictures of all the inventions the science has done for us. Then we have science in communication and transport. This is an area that has seen tremendous progress in the last few years. It has been helped mainly by smaller and more powerful computers. We use computers to send letters through email. We can get information on topics of our choice from libraries in Europe or USA through internet. Cricket matches being played on the other side of the globe are shown to us on TV through satellites. Satellites also send data about the weather, which were analyzed by supercomputers to predict the weather. Computers help us book our railway and air ticket. Today we can even book our air tickets while sitting in front of our computer at home. In recent years, cell phones have emerged as the cheapest and the easiest means of communication. Traveling has been reduced considerably from months and weeks to hours due to planes that are controlled by computers or railway signaling system that use computers. Science and resources of alternate energy with the possibility of coal and petroleum deposits disappearing in the near future. Scientists are busy in finding alternate sources of energy. 
Already, solar energy, wind energy, and tidal energy are being successfully used to generate electricity. Other sources of energy are being actively investigated. There are innumerable other areas where science helps us in our daily life. We only need to observe things around us, at our home, on the road, in our school, and in the supermarket to realize this fact. Science is harmful for us, as we know that things are good and also bad. We have to pay a price of everything. We have certainly paid a price for scientific progress too. Long ago, people thought that the conveniences offered by science and technology would help human beings to live a more comfortable and tension-free life. Though science and technology has brought comfortable comfort, it has also increased tensions. Because of scientific progress, life has become so fast-paced that everyone is more busy and tense. No wonder incidents of high blood pressure and heart, heart attacks have increased. Scientific progress has caused an imbalance in nature. The natural resources in the world are getting more and more polluted. This could have destroyers consequences. The weapons of mass destruction create, created with the help of science may wipe out the human race from the earth. Science has many limitations. Although science has provided us many benefits and explain the physical world around us it has many limitations for example it can in it can inform us about natural disasters and teach us about the prevented preventive measures against them but it cannot stop them from happening science is still unable to explain the Supernatural, it has not yet been able to defeat death and also cannot explain the secret behind the origin of life on the earth. Look at the pictures also for further descriptions. Thank you.